Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of Beyond the Tape, a podcast where we chat with people doing rad things in the mountain bike industry, both within Australia and uh, even overseas now. Uh, for this episode, we're chatting with Laura Craft. Laura is an absolute pinner. She won the National Enduro Champs in 2021, I want to say. Um, she's kind of undercover uh, when it comes to being an absolute shredder, super humble human, and honestly, one of the most bubbly, fun personalities to be around in the pits. Before we move on too far, though, let's just chat about some supporters. Without these guys, the podcast wouldn't be able to be running. Um, first up, we've got Lead Out Sports. Those guys uh, offer some of the best tools in the bike mechanic in game. Um, Abbey Tools, Pedro's, you know, they offer Smooth Lube. Um, a bunch of cool stuff. I just actually got the new uh, burrito wrap, um, tool wrap from those guys. Super high quality stuff. The Pedro stuff is honestly smashes park and the rest of them out of the water. It's it's killer. I really, really love their stuff. Tailored Trails um, are Tassie specialists for statewide transfers, private group shuttles and all-inclusive packages when you want to go around Tasmania. So if you're setting up a tour with a bunch of people, up to 18 people, Taylor Trails can take you around Tassie, show you the best tracks, tell you how to ride them, just do everything for you. So all you have to do is hop on your bike, ride, drink beers, have fun. So hit up Taylor Trails now and book your next trip. FE Sports are among the leading industry experts when it comes to sporting product imports, distribution, wholesale and customer service, both in Oz and NZ. They are the official distributors for brands such as 100%, Pirelli, Wahoo, and a bunch more. Um, I've been loving the 100% goggles. I think I said that in the last podcast, but I can't say it enough. Man, they're so comfortable. Field of vision is huge, and they seem super durable. My suspension has been feeling prime, and that's because NS Dynamics have been looking after it. These guys have been doing suspension servicing and tuning for over 20 years and know how to make your suspension feel better than ever. Every time I've got my suspension back from these guys, I can't believe how bad my suspension was working before. It just feels buttery smooth when it comes back. Their hyper-performance tube is next level. If you want to go a little bit deeper, attractive tube from Forsprung installed by NS Dynamics will get your bike perfect for you. Franked Mountain Bike Apparel is a premium mountain bike apparel company based in WA. They uh, offer some of the best riding pants I've ever ridden. Um, They even come in a double XL now, so they fit my drumsticks in there perfectly. They're super flexible, super tough, and man, I love them. Yeah, use Beyond the Tape 10 with those guys for a discount. With the rest of these guys, make sure you use Beyond the Tape and you get a bit of a discount and show that you're supporting them through the podcast. 2UpBikeCo also have their discount as well, so if you head up to 2UpBikeCo.com, those guys will be able to sort you out with some sweet noble rims, factor hubs, Dumont lubricants, and a bunch of premium high-end components from Factor. Their pedals are still going super strong on my bike. Love them. Dirt Surfer mudguards are 100% recycled. They're made, as I said, 100% recycled material, but they're also 100% recyclable. Uh, They offer custom designs, whether they're your own or one of their, their own designs. I've actually got some of their frame protection kits on my bike at the moment so testing that one out looks sick custom designed pretty rad little thing so i'm stoked on that one crush oz always keep my bike clean they're 100 australian made bike cleaner and degreaser and some of the best in the biz when you get super clean i just got their premium bike hair product and my bike has never looked that good and fist handwear i don't have to say anything they rip they're so good um super super strong gloves love their stuff Head over to any of those guys and use Beyond the Tape for a discount. It not only gets you a good deal, but it lets them know that them supporting the podcast is also supporting them. Anyway, enough of my dribble. Uh, We chat with Laura. This is a bit of a quick one, but hopefully you guys enjoy it and you get everything you need. So as usual, grab beer, grab water, grab a wine and enjoy the podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all right. Um, Laura Craft, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, long time fan of yours since meeting you last year at Nationals. 
you absolutely shredded there. Like you came first at the Gravity Enduro and were yeah. like fourth or fifth. In fifth the- at, yeah, fifth in the Downhill Nationals, um, yep. which was I think my second downhill race, which I was pretty <laughs> stoked about. <laughs> um, and yeah, in the Enduro, managed yep. to somehow pull through into a first. <laughs> also quite stoked about but you're also making like coffees for that whole weekend right like you weren't out practicing the downhill track oh it was hectic like every morning we had the like biggest coffee rush from pretty much mm. opening at 7 30 until I took yeah a- like 12 <laughs> yeah. um yeah until i could get out in the course and practice so yeah i was cooked by the end of the week <laughs> I, I felt so sorry for you guys and like the people in the the cooks and everything because it just seemed like everyone would come in the morning and be dead and then everyone would come at lunch. Yeah, we just just... got slammed so many times a day, but it was good fun. What was it like racing at that level? Like if that that was your second downhill race? Yeah, so I'd done like I think one downhill race, just a local one before Mm. up in Queensland, which actually no, it was at Oceana back in 2018 (laughs) or something, but it was in Toowoomba, which is where I'm from, so I raced it. Um, and then I've just stuck to enduro mm. kind of since. Um, but then yeah, nationals was at Medina where I was working, so gave it a crack. Why not? Why not? <laughs> You've done Oceania champs and national champs, and so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy races just for your couple. Yeah, just some small ones to ease into it. But yeah, the enduro win was sick. Like, um, yeah, I was so stoked on that. Just I think because I was riding with such a sick group of girls. Mm. Um. I was just so stoked on bikes and I kind of know the tracks and I wasn't really pushing too hard. Um, I was just having fun because I hadn't been racing for ages. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have been my first race back in about a year. Okay. Um, so, yeah, even with the uphill bits, like little uphill sprints, I was just mm. so excited to race that I didn't really care. I was <laughs> so excited. <laughs> just pinned on adrenaline like that whole way down. Yeah, it was so good. Um you mentioned before you're from Toowoomba, so you're about, what, like 200, 300 miles away from home at least. Yeah, a little while away. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I finished school last year, or 2020. Yeah. Um, and then straight after, me and my boyfriend Jacob did a road trip in our van, or Jacob's van, um, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> which I claim. Um, yeah, did a road trip down to Tassie yep. and then got a job at the bike park and have kind of been here ever since. <laughs> Were you like planning on just staying down here or is it just oh. come down, experience it? And- <laughs> Not really. We planned to come down for a month or two um, over summer and mm. I was planning to go back to uni in Queensland. And then a week before I was meant to go to uni, I was like, well, might as well just defer because yep. I'm having too much fun. So I stayed and then <laughs> didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> so that year is now almost two and... Yeah. Oh, no. So, it's been just this year. But okay. then next year, I'm also taking another gap year. Sorry, mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gap decade. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like living and working down here must be so good for your writing. Yeah. It's been so good because in grade 12, I was focusing a fair bit on studying because, mm. um, yeah, I wanted to get into uni in the course I wanted to to do. Yeah. Um. Which I got into, but then, yeah, didn't end up doing. But being down here, I can ride so much. Mm. And the crew down here is so sick. Everyone rides and everyone's just helps you get into it. And, yeah, it's awesome. What was the course that you were going to do? Just out of interest. Oh, uh, engineering. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm going to do chemical engineering, but it can wait. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Like, not many people are that keen to jump into that. Like, Yeah. I'm, like, stoked on chemistry. Yeah, okay. So, I know I really enjoyed it in school. Yeah. Bit of a nerd, but that's okay. So um, <laughs> mountain biking is a sport for nerds, like just undercover nerds everywhere. Yeah. It's all of us, yeah. Everyone's an engineer. <laughs> Everyone's, yeah. What was the riding scene like back in Toowoomba? Like I, I don't know anything about that area. Um, There's actually a pretty sick race scene. We have a pretty good um, enduro series, so okay. the SEQ, Southeast Queensland mm-hmm. Enduro Series. Yep. Um, Which I think some people were coming up from – New South Wales and Victoria yep. to do the downhills because we actually have a downhill series, unlike some states this year, I think. We have a um, well, I mean, yeah, 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 South Australia has a sick one. And I think yeah. Queensland does as well. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's great. And there's so many up-and-coming young riders, mm. which is awesome to see. Um, 
And yeah, so many people just building fun tracks, little legal steep trails. It's good. <laughs> Great to see. The legal trails are always the best. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Like you're 19, you just turned 19, right? Or 20. Yeah, yeah, turned 19 last weekend. And you're saying young and up and coming riders. And that's well, like. Well, yeah, like 12 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you're all like a young and up and coming rider to me. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh. Although you just well won nationals. Um, was it. How long have you been riding for? Um, have you always had the goals to kind of race and stuff when riding or you just froth on all diets? Um, yeah, so I've been riding for about six years, I think. Mm. Um, dad got me into it, which was, yep. yeah, awesome. Um, and kind of I started off doing XC races. Okay. Um, sick. <laughs> yeah, just a little skinny 12-year-old in Lycra. Mm-hmm. So sick. <laughs> <laughs> um and then yeah we found enduro and then i've been racing ever since kind of i never really thought i'd take it anywhere yeah okay um but now that i've spent a year at a bike park kind of yeah. keen to do something for a little yeah. bit so yeah especially when you're shredding like yeah may as well try and do something with it it's definitely a family affair too because yeah your dad's here this weekend yeah um, mom and dad are riding sarah's riding my sister yep yeah, she's fast as well. She is ridiculously fast. <laughs> it's really quite scary. I tried to follow her today <laughs> and it was good good five seconds or so watching yeah. her ride and then she was just gone. Like, yeah, it's level. stressful because she's younger than me but sometimes she's faster than me and that just freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> and you've uh, persuaded her to maybe come down here and do, live the dream as well? Yeah, I think she's got a job for January. So yeah, sick. We'll have, she'll be in the share house, which will be sick. Good influence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screw learning, come <laughs> ride bikes. Yep. What's it like working down here though? Like it seems like a sick team. So good. Yeah, we go on star flaps all the time, go on Arvo rides. Mm. The such sick banter. Like everyone gets along with everyone mm. and we're just all here to have a good time and ride bikes. <laughs> it's got to be pretty good for your riding, hey? Like you've got Reese, Baxter, you know, Jacob's a pretty good rider as well. Um, Sam, like everyone here shreds. Yeah, everyone's so good and it's really great having people to look up to because mm. back in Toowoomba, I mean, there's some really, really good riders but I didn't really ride with any of them because they were all like in their own group. Mm-hmm. But here everyone rides together mm. and we can all learn from each other, which yes. is so good. Um, so, yeah, I think my riding's really progressed because of that. Do you feel like you learn other than training and stuff, you're learning more off of the other people and following and imitating them? Yeah, so. just like lines as well and mm. trying new things. Like today I managed to do a nose bonk. I've never tried that before. It was sick. Love Probably nose baby bonks. steps, but it was sick. Where'd you do it? Uh, Tiana. Yeah, sick. Yeah, on those little rollers. Yeah, best place to learn. Mint. Yeah. I nearly went over one of them today. Because <laughs> I do them really badly instead of like, I was more of a nose manual, but I kind of jump and then let my nose drop. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's so dumb. That's actually why I have one fake tooth. <laughs> But it dropped and I'm like, oh, shit, I was oh, no. higher than I was what thought I was. So oh, it's like just dropped and thankfully it caught. <laughs> I, was, I was nearly dead. Not good. Especially how fast that's running today. Eh? Yeah, it's so sick. Do you, is Toowoomba quite dry? Yeah. It's like you can't really ride in the wet either because yeah, okay. you get a bit, little bit of rain and your tires just clog up and don't turn. Yeah. So it's, yeah, like dry or nothing really. Yeah, okay. Um, Whereas here. Here it's like oh, at the moment it's here at it. So good. Mm, it's dusty. <laughs> dusty. <laughs> Insane. But like when it's wet, it's proper wet. Eh? Oh, yeah. She's sketchy. <laughs> does, it, does that, do you find that's made your riding really well, good as well? Like you, you're riding in all conditions or? I think so. Well, I think last season um, I was riding a fair bit more in the wet mm. just because I've been a bit tentative this season with my shoulder. Yeah. Um, but yeah, trying to get back, back into riding in the mud. Mm-hmm. It's. I mean, it's so good because you can. The bike moves without you meaning it to, and you can just yeah. get your balance so yeah. good on the yeah. bike. So yeah. Yeah, I love that feeling of the bike just doing whatever. <laughs> just it going wants. the opposite direction to like, where you think it's gonna sick. go. Yeah. <laughs> kind of teaches you to be more like fluid and like let it dance a little bit more, which is something I noticed today from like Baxter and Jake, like Jacob. Yeah. Jacob's got like a Jack Moyer style to him, hey. But I have that bike body separation. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we, I guess like when you're stuck riding with the same people all the time, you kind of end up, everyone keeps riding the same way. Yeah. And then when you watch those guys riding and control, it's a whole different thing. So controlled. Yeah, Baxter is so controlled on the bike. 
Like he goes completely sideways and his bike looks like it's going to have a huge E and he just stays on top. Yeah, I don't think he plans it, although I think ah. sometimes he's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what works? Um, what's, I guess, like you're, you're obviously just doing the coffees and stuff, but are you have you got any plans to kind of get into teaching and coaching and stuff like that as well? Or? Well, actually, yeah. Um, we did a level one PMBI mm. course the other weekend. Um, Reese ran that here. So I'm going to get into a bit more coaching, hopefully, or instructing. Yes, um, at the bike park, and Jacob and I run the kids camps. Yes, which yes. is sick. So over January, we just babysit and teach kids how to shred down hills. That sounds right. so good. <laughs> What's uh? Is that pretty rewarding watching those kids like progress and get stoked on bikes? Yeah, it's so fun. Like, well, kids are so stoked. They get yeah. so frothy on bikes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like even some of them have like hugies over the bars, scorpion. And they get up, they're like, yeah, I'm fine. It's all good. Yeah, they're so flexible. Funny. Yeah, yeah. so flexible. They just bend. They haven't ruined themselves in an office <laughs> chair for 30 years. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's sick though. Are you looking for, are you the only female coach then here or is there someone else? I think so actually. Yeah. Mm. Um. So, yeah, I think I'm keen to get into a bit more coaching like women mm-hmm. and guiding women's groups because I don't know, I feel like, it's great being taught by like really good male riders, mm-hmm. but as a young girl, when I just started riding, I feel as though learning from another like good mm. girl rider would be would have been sick. Yeah. So I'll try and that's kind of what I'm aiming to do. Yeah, okay. is to do a bit of that. Yeah, sick. Um, I don't know. See how that goes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like it's working for Sean up in in yeah, definitely Canberra. Like she's doing that coaching and. And I was actually pretty blown away because every time I've been down here, I reckon it's always just been dudes. Like there was a lot of a lot of sausages on the dance floor for sure. <laughs> yeah. But this weekend, especially since Dirt Surfer opened. Definitely, yeah. And then you got that So many women mount. and kids. The, so good. I've never seen that many here. Like it, it's actually like a family destination now. Definitely, yeah. It's it's kind of weird, but yeah, it's I think sick that's, to see. That's definitely what – like Frenchie's been working on mm. um, just developing those green trails and like family-friendly trails. Um, and now that the bottom area has kind of been redeveloped, it's a nice mm. place to hang out. Um, yeah. Like even if like a family comes down and the mum and daughter have done a couple laps of dirt surf and they want to chill out, there's bean bags and yeah. a nice area to sit down. I think I saw someone out there having a nice read before. Yeah, so. it's awesome. <laughs> um, was it kind of... Like, what was the women's racing scene like up in Toowoomba? Like, is there a big scene for women up there? Or um, it's getting bigger. Yeah. When I started out, there was like three women. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like me, I was like fourteen, and then two women and like elite would have yep. been like thirty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now it's expanding. Yeah. Which is awesome. Even in the downhill. Mm-hmm. Um, which is cool. Yeah. So yeah, great was it to kind see. of intim- intimidating or anything, or is it just you just went with the flow and just? Is this like when there was not that many? Yeah, women? yeah. when you first started. Um, I don't know. I think I'm kind of just used to being in a male-dominated sport, and I yeah, didn't okay. really think about it. Yeah. Um, but now that I see more women coming in, I'm just getting stoked. It's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we had a race up in Adelaide two months ago, a month yeah. ago, women's only race, and I think it was 110 entrants. That's insane. It's almost so as, good. It was fifty percent of a normal race, and it was all women, and it was sick. Yeah, my mum's doing a bit of that up in Queensland. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, a couple of years ago she started um, a Fox on Rocks in Is that your mum? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So sick. she kind of decided that she wanted to start this race where it was women's only because mm. she felt intimidated by fast men coming up behind her in a race run and being like get out of the way and she felt bad for blocking them like for slowing them down so she thought well may as well Mm. make a women's only race so that's been going for a couple of years Mm. and it's got super successful yeah i've been following that really closely i had no idea that was your mom yeah 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 (laughs) Yeah, it's that weird i wouldn't say it's weird of course it's understandable but like they don't want to slow up a lot of women don't want to slow other people down yeah whereas a lot of men don't want to be slowed down. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a whole different mindset. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Most men don't care about the other people and the women. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting. What was it like? Did you have any role models growing up and racing? Like, or um, 
I don't know. I think I always just would race with my dad. Like mm-hmm. he got me into riding. Um, we used to do the enduros together, yeah. which was fun. And then my sister, um, yeah, we used to race together and we'd leapfrog each other, kind of like one race I'd win, the next race yeah, okay. I'd win, which, yeah. Not, not that great because she's younger than me, but <laughs> it was good. Be like, I'm glad I'm not at your dinner table after those races. Hey? Yeah, silence. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not that bad. But stairs across yeah. the table. No, yeah. it's good to because we push each other to get faster, mm. which is fun. Yeah. But yeah. Well, um, but there's no like, so you don't look up to. There was no one else. You just riding with your family. Yeah, I, yeah, up until. A couple of years ago, I'd only really rode, like, I'd ride with friends and stuff around Toowoomba, mm. but they were just, like, do you know El Denoya? Mm, no, I don't think oh, so. Oh, she's a shredder. Um, So fast. But, yeah, we'd just have a little mm. group of girls who would go riding. Yeah, sick. Um, but then I started riding with Jacob and his crew, Yeah, which is where I kind of started getting a heap faster, yeah. just trying to keep up, mm. which, yeah, I reckon that's such a good way to get your riding better. Yeah, I think Shelley Flood. Is very similar. There's a couple of people that are um, actually Miranda Miller was saying the same thing. Yeah, I'm like just trying to keep up with the dudes and like not that skill level was ever lower. They just kind of get you to push yourself hard. Yeah, you know like I mean? you find out like ways to balance at high speeds mm. and stuff like that in different lines. Yeah, because you just have to do anything to try and keep up, and you yeah. kind of find your limits. Yeah, yep. or like push through the limits, I guess. Yeah, which is yeah so beneficial, I reckon. Was what was there a time where you guys realized like you have this kind of better ability than others? Like you're actually quite quick and quite good on a bike. Was there a point? I don't know. I think I don't think I have better abilities than other people. Mm. I just think I've ridden a lot. Okay. Um, and like I'm um, enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I've never really put pressure on myself for training and stuff because I know that'll make me stressed about it yeah, okay so i just i ride because i really enjoy riding mm. and yeah going faster makes me stoked because i'm with people i like riding with so, <laughs> yeah. yeah so you training you're not training in the gym or doing anything like that you're just riding your bike no yeah i'm just riding i don't think the last time i trained would have been for ews in derby 2019 um and then I just, I don't know, chill out, have a good time. <laughs> and then operations didn't really help. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll touch on that in a minute. But yeah. how was the EWS at Derby? How'd you go there? Oh, it was sick. I came second out of two people in juniors. <laughs> sick. It was the second, the second minutes. <laughs> Last. You still came second. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was such a great experience. Mm. Yeah. Was that the really great year as well? Or was it? No, the- I think it was pretty good. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, but yeah, that was the first big race or like big mm. big race i've done um and yeah i'm just keen to do more yeah keen to do some overseas ones Are you a bit devo that the ews didn't come down yes i was this is my last or well, next year is my last year in under 21s yeah okay. so i was yeah i had my mindset on it i was like all right yeah i'll do two tassie ones and the new zealand one and then hopefully i can get to some overseas and see if i can kind of get a like mm. overall do okay in that um but no that's okay thanks covid yeah. it's so good isn't it <laughs> great <laughs> you want to kind of go overseas and start pushing your limits over there i think you were saying you want to go to canada and- yeah so we're planning hopefully to go to canada next winter here so somewhere over there mm-hmm. um and yeah just ride bikes experience some new stuff because i've only ridden in Australia and New Zealand like once or twice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, for a couple of days. Mm. So yeah, I'm just so keen to see some bigger mountains. <laughs> I think Whistler's got a pretty big mountain. Yeah, yeah. I've heard. Canada. I've heard there's yeah. a couple of trails there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just one or two. Yeah. I've heard Canada's jumps. pretty good. Yeah. 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 Beeline. It's all pretty on the down low at the moment. But <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a fairly <laughs> underground scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only seen on Red Bull TV. It's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Yeah, no, stoked for that. But it's sick, sick to have, have like a place, place like Medina in Oz as well, like where you can kind of come and live. And yeah. yeah, I think I've kind of, I've got too used to it. I've, yeah. <laughs> I need to remind myself that this is so special where I am right now. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It's funny, I completely forgot that, like, what it, that people actually live here right here because I can keep, I'm like, Jacob, you just do whatever you want to do. I'll follow you. Like, yeah. And I forgot that he 
it's ridden these trails a yeah. million times and he doesn't care. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. I've like, I'm a bit spoiled really. Like some people, like friends come down and it's pissing down. They're like, oh, yeah, let's do a lap. I'm like, mm, maybe not. It's raining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't like rain. Yeah. <laughs> We came down, down the first time, I think it was like 40 mil of rain every day. It was brutal. Oh. It and we rode every day from morning <laughs> till night and it was actually really good. Yeah. But, yeah, and to come down and ride it in the dry. So good. It's insane. It's scary. <laughs> it is scary. It's so fast. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't want to go this fast right now, but I kind of have you to. You can't, can't not. It's too good. So you mentioned like I only I learned this about you today. Yesterday, like you're 19, you've already had two shoulder yeah, reconstructions. Two shoulder reconstructions, year and a half apart. Not that great. <laughs> the first one happened. Was it like a crash or something? Or um, well, I did gymnastics for mm. a few or quite a few years when I was little, so I just have loose shoulders. Yeah. Um, and I dislocated them a couple of times with that and basketball as well. Um, and then I was up here in 2019 end of 2019 yeah and i had a huge hugged a tree <laughs> my shoulder came out like backwards um delicious yeah <laughs> that nice. would have felt disgusting so that wasn't that great and then we got an x-ray and i'd ruptured the labrum so like the cartilage mm. it's like a cartilage ring on your socket that fast like suctions your mm. the ball of your arm sick so that's how I think it works. Mum and dad probably are going to tell me after this that I'm very wrong. But I'm going to go with that. That's how yeah. I understand it to it's work. It's like a Barbie doll, Ken doll thing where he just pops in. Right? Yeah. 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 Pops out. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. so that was ripped off a fair bit and all the tendons and ligaments were just all over the place. So, um, yeah, that got reattached at the end of 2019. Yep. Um, which was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> How long was your recovery for that? That would have been huge. Uh, it was like four months, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh, so it was three months, no riding. Mm. And then I was on the wind trainer just because I was going stir crazy. Mm. Just wanted to move. And then started easy onto the bike Yeah. at about four or five months. And then by six months, I was back to riding like yeah, okay. normal stuff. Yeah, four months off the bike would be hard. Yeah, but I think I may have been a little bit too eager, hence shoulder reconstruction number two. <laughs> the <Ooh>. sequel. <laughs> yeah, which it was a bigger operation the second time. They yeah, right. moved bone across. So, yeah, there's like a sticky bit of bone that sticks out the end of your shoulder, yeah. kind of, and they chop that off. It's where your biceps tendons attached to. Yeah, okay. So, they chopped that off and moved it across so that it makes the socket a bit bigger. Okay. And then, like, the tendon is like a sling across the front of your shoulder so it doesn't pop out. Sick. Yeah. Also, may not be medically accurate what I just said, but that's how I understand it. I'm not a doctor, so I'm going with you on that <laughs> one. But, yeah, and I'm still coming back from that. That one, that was, the second one was worse yeah, by right. far. Why is that? It was just painful. Yeah, okay. I was on so many drugs. Like, I would have been <laughs> high for, like, two weeks. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> the oxy. Yeah. <laughs> not great. Um, it's not fun. I actually right. hate oxy. But, yeah, I think I've I've been pretty tentative coming back because yep. I don't want a third one. <laughs> no. 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 That's why you're not racing Gravity Fest next Yeah, yeah I'd love to be, but I just want to take it easy. And I know that if I race, I'm not going to be able to do it like half-hearted i yeah. won't be able to just chill no one ever races just to ride like yeah. it's a race for a reason yeah and i'm really competitive so where do you think the competitiveness comes from is there anywhere like specifically you think that my dad is really competitive yeah, actually okay. no mum's really competitive yeah, right. <laughs> she doesn't you wouldn't think so but she is yeah okay. yeah. yeah yeah so i've got that competitive streak from her yeah, yeah. And then I'm guessing between you and your sister, it's always just on. Well, actually, kind of, but not really. Sarah doesn't really like racing. She's yeah, right. less competitive. Yeah, okay. She gets too stressed. Yeah. So, yeah. But she's pretty damn quick. She's so quick. How old? And she's yeah. been off the bike for like three or four months because of grade 12 this year. And then she comes back and just smokes everyone. <laughs> Oh, well. No, it's, it's <laughs> I got it on my game. Someone yeah, <laughs> take her out. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, so, yeah, what do you, 
what has it been like support wise for you as well? Like it's it's got to be hard kind of being at the top of that game at the moment and improving and everything when there's not many races going on. Like how have you progressed with support and trying to reach out to brands and stuff like that? Um. Well, previously I've like dad's been a legend and just supported yeah, okay. Sarah and I along the way yeah. Um. and kind of made a big deal about not, trying to get sponsors and stuff and just keep it fun because mm. there's no point getting too serious too soon otherwise you'll burn out. Mm-hmm. That was his kind of mentality. 100%. Um, yeah. And now that I've been kicked out of the nest um, <laughs> in a friendly yeah, way, yeah. Yeah. now that I've left home and yeah. I'm like self, well, mostly self-sufficient, mum and dad will disagree, but I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I've, yeah, got support by some pretty sick brands. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, yeah. So yeah, with on a canyon team with Fox and Etnies for this year, mm-hmm. um, with Baxter and Bo Harbman, um, Shredder from yep. up in South Australia, and also Sam Walsh. Sam Walsh. Yeah. So yeah, sick team. I'm so stoked. You got Tram on board as well. Yeah. 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 And I don't know. It's weird because I've never really had any yeah. sponsors, and it's all kind of happened really quickly. Yeah. Um. But, you yeah, know, it's nice to have a bit of support behind me. It's a pretty good team. Very, yeah. very good team. Was it kind of daunting or like are you nervous about it in any way or are you just keen to get I'm it? just stoked. Everyone's so nice. Yeah. Like we had a team weekend and everyone's just, yeah, so yeah. excited. It's so easy to hang out with. Yeah. It's awesome. You love on the bike? Yeah, so good. I'm on the Spectral. Yeah. Um, and, and it's so, so playful. The new one, right? It's yeah. With 29, 29? Yeah, 29 wheels. Um. And, and yeah, yeah insane, insane at jumping. The, the I think the wheelbase is a little bit shorter than my old bike. Yeah, okay. I was on a Comet style Meta. Um, I'm now on a small frame, mm-hmm. but I can do it. It's so flicky around turns, mm. and it's heaps lighter as well. Um, They're so light. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. My life. Yeah. I was blown away with how light. Because I had the twenty-seven and a half on. Yeah, okay. I don't. I think it's a similar spec to yours, so it wouldn't be far off. But they're just ridiculously light. Yeah. Yeah, such a nice bike. And the colour's so nice. Yeah. I put it in the bush the other day because I was like sessioning something or taking photos on something and it, I'd lost my bike. It's the same colour as the fence. It's sick. <laughs> it's too camouflage. Hey? Yeah, it's nice. Um, but yeah, well, how good is it having those boys on the team as well? They're like, they all shred in completely different ways. Yeah, they're all such sick riders. So I think mm-hmm. we can... Well, I don't know if they can learn stuff from me, but I can definitely learn stuff from all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the benefiting here. Yeah. But yeah, no, awesome. Yeah. It was, it, so, did you do many runs behind them and stuff during the filming? Like, I'm trying to catch up while I keep up. Yeah. Yeah. I My shoulder still wasn't that great mm. when we were filming, so I didn't get to do that much riding just because I don't want to stuff up my shoulder. Again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it'll be. I'm keen to do another weekend hopefully with them yeah and yeah do some proper laps what was it like doing that filming like, so fun <laughs> yeah yeah is that your first kind of time doing any project like that yeah definitely um yeah so fun it's just exciting i was just excited the whole time yeah just getting stoked on it <laughs> yeah i mean oh, we did so many just push runs mm. i think bo did it on his strava I could be wrong, but I think it was like 30K <laughs> of like pushing up hills yeah. and riding back down. Oh, God. <laughs> we were cooked by the end of the day. And then but. I heard a rumor that Sammy Walsh was just riding in the bushes for most yeah. of the time. Yeah, he was cutting circle laps like in the bushes just for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a little energizer bunny, eh? Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> yeah. Did that, did you find like, I've always, I've always found, found that, that filming process, process, like doing self-filming and pushing up and riding again. again. It's actually pretty beneficial. Like you get that line yeah. dialed so well. Definitely. Yeah, we would have done like at least like seven or eight laps of each bit that we filmed. Mm. Um, but yeah, none of us kind of worried that we were tired. We are just so stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you at? What tracks were you shooting on? Um, I think we did a bit on South Crescent mm-hmm. um, that last jump and then we did some on Tyana on that fast straight mm-hmm. section. And, and then we went up and did a fair bit on the local, yeah, okay. that first straight yeah, with yeah, all yeah. the jumps. Um, and then the boys filmed in South Hobart, but I wasn't there for that, yeah. unfortunately. Um, yeah. But yeah. Sick. Local, local has to be the favourite 
spot for everyone that comes down here, right? Yeah, it's compulsory. If you do a ride, like a pedal up, and you get to the top of Abbott's after 5 p.m., it's illegal to do anything except for the local. Really? Yeah, that's just a rule of Medina. <laughs> You're not allowed to do anything except the local Why is past that? 5 p.m. I don't know, it's just like the best option. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's the only one left with light. It's, yeah, well, I mean, it's really the only option from there. Actually, yeah. no, all of Abbott's is sick. Pretty much. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, they're all pretty damn good. Yeah. Do you have a favourite trail here? Like, what's... Well, I mean, so many. A favourite linked <laughs> trail because there's 6,000 different ways to make your way down that mountain. Also, favourite, like, run yeah. from the top? Mm, okay, so, Skyline. Yeah. Right. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, oh, but there's two. Yeah. All right, so, this is my east side option. We go down. Pen- oh, Skyline. Yeah. Pandani. Um... That first bit of Waratah because that's fun and fast. Yeah. Like over oh, like instead of sticks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sticks is fun, but yeah. It's pretty bad at the moment. It's, yeah, yeah, quite rough. And then bottom of sticks. Mm. That's sick. And then go across to Wedgetail and then into Pamela. Yeah. And then Thrashy or local. And then Tiana. Can you get the east side from there? Yeah. I can't. Oh, funky cold. Yeah, yeah, that was that running, running sick Funky today. Funky good. But then my west side option is, um, yeah, so Skyline, Tea Trees, mm-hmm. King Brown, mm. Billy Bob, mm-hmm. up the fire road, Scandy into Handy Scandy, Tiana. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd dig I that a lot. So you're more into those natural trails. Yeah. And the flow. Yeah, I think the only flow trail I really like is the local. Yeah. Just because those jumps are so easy. Yeah. Well, like so, like, so, like flowy. They, they work. work. They, they work, work really yeah. well, really well built. And for someone who can't really jump like me or like isn't that confident naturally on jumps. I saw Jacob do a pretty <laughs> solid pencil today. That's <laughs> fucking amazing. From <laughs> Dirt Church. Like, I thought you guys going on Dirt Church? I rolled I down it because nice. I was real tired. <laughs> and as I was rolling <laughs> along one straight, the boys were coming across the other. Yeah, yeah So okay. I just peeked across and... Jacob, Jacob was like, like full moto, moto, just da 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 da, <laughs> and he just cased into the back of this step up so hard. <laughs> Gnarly. So, so good to watch. <laughs> he's, he's he's hips, hips and wrist and like it. I don't think. Yeah, no. But I'm with you on like, those, those runs. runs. Like that, that natural, natural terrain, terrain here is so natural cool. tech's so good. It kind of it flows, flows here though. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's steep sections, but it all has a nice catch at the bottom, mm. so you can't really go too far wrong. Like. You can, you can get, get a bit sketch, sketch on the steep, steep shoots, shoots, but yeah. you're always pretty much going to be caught at the bottom. You're not going to just blow out into the bushes. And they're, and they're so, so steep that if you come off, you keep rolling anyway. So it's yeah, it's fine. Yeah. All good. Although, Although for some, some reason this weekend, weekend, that rock roller on Sticks and Stones bottom, you know that oh, first yeah. one? like Yeah. The, and you G out into it and you're in the V of rocks and you're going to go to hop over the next one. Yeah, yeah. I was just playing mind games with me the whole day. That's scary. I'm just like, I give up. <laughs> Goodbye. But I do <laughs> like those flow trials and it seems to make you such a good rider. Yeah. 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 Definitely. What, um, what trials would you recommend for someone new coming here? Dirt Surfer. Yeah. 100%. That's the sickest track. I didn't get to ride it. Eh? Couldn't, Couldn't find, find it. it. Oh, really? It's not on the sides. Oh, well, just imagine surfing on dirt, hence the name. Yeah, yeah, sick. Yeah. 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 Insane. So nice. That seems to have like, like some brand, like all the fast guys like it and then all the families like it. Like it seems yeah. to be Yeah, built. it's the best all-rounder trail because yeah. the first, there's a massive straight, which is the first bit yeah. before it goes into any turns, which is just rollers and you can do them at any speed. Mm. And you can double them and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. It just flows so well. And then the turns are so good as well. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, Towards the bottom. But, yeah, no. Why do all the like locals love Tyana so much? Because everything else sucks from there. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, okay. Well, Tyana is the best option from there. <laughs> <laughs> um, South Crescent is a bit rutted at the moment. It's uh, is that the, that's a big jumpy one, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just gravel. Because it's so dry. It always yeah. stays dry because it's in the coop. And it's like breaking bumps. On it. Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, than most of it. yeah. 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 No, Tiana's so fast. It's good. It's, yeah, Baxter followed me down there today and that's the most nervous I've ever been in my life. 
I was oh, generally yeah. scared that he's just going to run up my ass. And... Baxter, like, on one of those last turns, he, like, comes into it and just squares it off so hard. And I don't even know how he holds on to it. It's so sketch. Yeah, Jake, so be going, like, thing, on, like, 60k an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and those burns and on that supportive. supportive. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, what is... I guess, I guess like, like your goals, goals for next, next year, year are you going to try and do much of the Australian series as well? Like are you going to obviously make it to national enduro champs this year is impossible for 99% of people. Yeah. Um, well, I'm aiming. So the first race of next year will be the downhill champs, mm-hmm. um, which I will have a downhill bike for. Yeah, because you raced on the – Race on the – yeah, on the enduro bike which last silly. year. Which silly. Yep. yep. I mean, only option. Yep. I think I'd had that bike for a week as well before then. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, but, yeah, so I'll have a downhill bike by then, which would be sick. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, what else is – oh, yeah, Cannonball. Mm. Maybe get to Cannonball, hopefully. Before nice. Well, yes, yeah, before. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, mix that around. Oh, well. Um, and then the Enduro Jam here. Mm. That sounds sick, so I'll give that a go. Um, and then just any local races that pop up, yeah, like yeah. the Tassie series. It's got to be pretty good down here for the races. So good, yeah. yeah. Um, and then over in Canada, hopefully get to the North American and mm. Whistler EWS rounds. Yeah, cool. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've qualified from the race earlier this year at Medina. I think it was a gold qualifier. Yeah. So I should. Uh, well, yeah. 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 Hopefully. <laughs> um. How keen are you for that? That enduro jam seems both extremely fun. Oh, it looks hectic. And extremely <laughs> brutal. Yeah. Because it's three different trials each day. Yeah, so three stages and you can do as many laps of it as you want within the day. Yeah. For three days straight. And it's changed the stages. Each. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to have the worst case of a hump hump. Yeah, someone's going to have a huge Nah. Touch wood, it's not me. That'll be all sweet. Oh, we all no one ever crashes here. No, exactly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what do you? I mean, obviously the EWS leaving is a bit shit, but like that. I think this is a pretty sick substitute. To be honest, I was about to say I'd almost prefer. That. <laughs> I'm not mad about yeah. it because <laughs> there's no climbing. Yeah, yeah shuttles. shuttles. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then do you know? Are they all? Are any starting, starting from the top, or is it all from midline? I have no idea. I don't, yeah, no one's really said anything yet. One, One from the from top would be brutal. Okay. I don't know how that would work though, because if you have to, if there's three stages and you have to get to the other ones, it might not work. Yeah, unless they get it from tea tree or something. That, that would be cool one. though. Ooh. But you can have that. I actually tried to do a full run without brakes the other day. And it down tea trees. Down the whole mountain. Wait, wait, with no brakes. Oh, oh no, like, I, I thought you meant brakes. <laughs> Like, that's there, so there was, gnarly. There was all the brakes. <laughs> brakes uh, like a non-stop lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's painful. painful. Even, even just like, like Pam, no, not Pam, like, even Pandani, like, like full, full trying to keep up with back to or something. Yeah. yeah. Next level. Yeah, so rough. Arm pump is brutal. Yep. I get foot pump. It's not fun. Yeah. 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 It's like my feet are like, just die. Need different pedals. Yeah, maybe. Better shoes. Well, yeah, the issues are pretty clapped. I heard some head knee issues might be coming Etnies out shoes. Yeah. soon, yeah. They may or may not have some sort of metal retention device on the bottom of them that clips into like the pedal or something. Mm. Yeah. I can't really say too much. Yeah, I have no idea really. Um, <laughs> sweet. Uh, might start wrapping things up a little bit. We'll keep it short because we've got to get to the airport. Yep. And I need a coffee again. <laughs> um, what advice would you have to other ladies out there trying to get into the sport and do a bit of racing and progress um the best thing i reckon you can do for your riding is ride behind people who are faster than you like riding with other people is so just move to medina yeah come to medina no (laughs) riding behind people who are faster than you and just riding with a group of people Mm. that's the best way you're gonna get faster i reckon what's from my experience yeah and if you're not riding with people that's kind of defeats the purpose of riding like mm. to me riding is about being with fun people and it's having a, great a solo time. sport enjoyed with others exactly yeah. um 
What about racing wise? Like, like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like you take it too seriously. Yeah, Yeah, I've always kind of just chilled out (laughs) because I enjoy being there. Yeah. I never really get caught up in all the mind games. Yeah. yeah. I just have a good time. If there's a sausage sizzle, get a sausage. (laughs) Sick. (laughs) Just enjoy the atmosphere. Nutritional advice from the world. It's a sausage sizzle. (laughs) That's the best. But yeah, no, just hang out, enjoy the company of other people. Yeah. Yeah. Ride fast. Sick. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. I've always <laughs> said it's real easy to win a race. You just got to ride fast on everyone else. Like it's, exactly. It's simple. such an easy task, really. Yeah. I, I just choose you too. I wish. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Same. <laughs> um, I was going to say, is there any regrets or anything you would want to change up until now, but you're 19? Well, actually, taking a little bit more time in my recovery yeah. after shoulder reconstruction, Fair number point. one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Apart from that, no regrets. Are you doing well this time? Yeah. Yeah. To not be pushing hard today, it's got to be damn hard. Yeah, I know. But it's got to be sensible. Just do more work. You'll be fine. Yeah, I just, yeah. Um, Say when you were like in that first one where you had like the shitty kind of recovery and everything else, you don't seem like you're a person that needs motivation. But if you're like not wanting to get up and ride or do anything is there anything you do to get motivated to get out of bed and go do a run or just listen to some tunes yeah yeah music just gets me so pumped up what do you listen to really anything like a bit of rock a bit of i don't know yeah Sometimes I just go to all my songs on my phone and just press shuffle. So it's like all the songs from like 2016 when I was in grade 8. <laughs> <laughs> like, 2016 when you were grade 8. Yeah, Laura through the year, through the ages. Yeah, okay. We got all the, all the different types of music and just, yeah. 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 A couple of throwbacks. Yeah, I get that. I get, yeah, 100%. I go back to my throwback list from 95, 96. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, music existed back then. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Backstreet Boys. That's sick. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Backstreet Boys. Yeah, yeah. the best. <laughs> so good. No. Um, well, Rad, we kind of kept it short and spicy, which is good. Um, but I don't know if this is going to be released before or after it comes out. But there's a sick little introduction, hopefully in Revolution, on you for the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. There's some spicy details. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to see what. Yeah, it's basically a gossip <laughs> rag now. Yeah, um, yeah. There's some stuff on Kim Kardashian and Kanye. Oh, yeah, and all yeah. That. yeah, that was all JT. Everyone wants to know, yeah. That was all JT's idea. <laughs> He's actually a secret TV week reader. Well, thanks so much for coming on. It's been rad. Um, I'm super keen to see how you do this year. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Sick. Well, uh, let's go get a coffee. Sounds good, sounds good. Thanks. <laughs>listening to that episode guys sorry about the audio there at the end um it appears my mic had a bit of a seizure on the second day of recording at maydina so that's what happened with jared english's audio and with laura's um hopefully we won't be having this issue in the future it's weird because it was the exact same setup as the two podcasts i did with reese and with the following podcasts I've got coming up. So a bit surprised with that one, but it's all good. Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, as usual, if you want to support the podcast, support our partners, um, jump over to beyondthetape.com and grab a t-shirt or grab some merch. And uh, yeah, tell your nan, tell your dog, tell, I don't know, your neighbor, whoever, and uh, let them know about the potty. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll speak soon next.